Okay, in this video, I'm going to go through an unpacking of the comic book cleaning starter kit to show you all of the contents that you need to get started cleaning on your way to cleaning and pressing comics, as well as show you a brief tutorial on how to clean a comic book. So uh, here we have our container with all of our supplies that we're gonna need to clean the, the comic. And when we open it up, we're gonna go through these each one. So the first one on here is uh, referred to as an absorbing pad, which is excellent for getting rid of uh, dirt and grime that is on the, comic, the cover of the comic book. And it's uh, almost like a sponge, and it's amazingly well at absorbing dirt and grime. So this is a, a clean one, and I can go over here and grab uh, one that I've been using in the past, and you can actually see how uh, there's a lot of dirt that's been picked up uh, from this particular use sponge. So this is one of the primary tools that I use for cleaning in addition to a drafting eraser, which is more for extremely soiled covers, which this comic is not. Uh, so this is good for light to moderate cleaning and is fairly safe to use on the comic book as long as you are being very careful. And we're going to go through on its application as well. Uh, in here as well is uh, essentially a magic eraser, which the, the contents of these, if you've used magic erasers before, you know they pretty much take up everything. And they are made out of a chemical called melamine, and they actually act as a, a mini... Uh, very fine sandpaper. So they're not something you want to use excessively. This is kind of a last resort for cleaning specifically white areas of the comic book. You definitely don't want to use this on any colored areas. It will immediately take up the gloss and take up the, the color of the comic. So I predominantly use this on the, the edges of the back covers or any place on a white cover that has a particularly hard uh, to clean area. So it's really good for comics that have ink transfer on the front cover of a white comic book that uh, can use this to, to take up any residual uh, ink that may be soiled or, or spread onto the cover from other spots. Then um, one of the, the kind of essential supplies are cleaning cloths, which are uh, actually uh, swifter pads. So these are, are great to use for Cleaning the comic, you want unscented ones. You don't want to transfer any kind of scent onto the, to the comic itself. Uh, and you don't want those oils from the scents in there. But these are great for wiping down, making sure that you don't have any eraser left when you're finished cleaning the comic book. And uh, before pressing this, you always want to give it a wipe. So these are great to have in handy in general. Uh, to do more focused cleaning, I have these uh, little cotton rounds right here. These are great for wiping certain areas of the comic just to get an extra uh, fine cleaning. These will actually work to take up a lot of soiled marks. So if there's uh, some kind of like, if you see something kind of uh, that looks like debris on the comic cover, this is great if you want to step it up from just the, the regular Swifter pad to just get in there and, and work it slowly in a circle to try to remove that, uh, that soiling or that, uh, that particular debris that may be on there. Okay, and then we have kind of our, our primary things to take up uh, any kind of markings or dirt. So we have pencil capped erasers. These are white. Uh, they have to be white. You don't want anything pink or, or colored that's gonna transfer anything. And then we have a kneaded eraser here. So this can be uh, used for uh, cleaning areas. It's relatively safe on colored areas, but I'd be very careful when we're gonna use it. You wanna use it very lightly, the same with these. So basically, Anything you're going to be using these cleaning supplies on, you want to be very cautious that you're not taking up ink as well as uh, the dirt that you're trying to remove. Now, last, we have uh, some Q-tips, which are good for, for focus cleaning. There are a number of pressing techniques that uh, require Q-tips. There's something called the hot shots methods where you apply a tiny dab of water to a bend or a, a particular hard to remove crease. And these are great for just uh, dipping in, in distilled water and dabbing them on that area before using a hot iron press and then loading into your primary press, which we can show in a, in a later video. 
And then last, we have a, a set of gloves. Now, if you do this often, you're obviously gonna need uh, more than one set of gloves, but in this, uh, there is uh, a set of gloves to get you started on here. And I recommend always wearing gloves when you do any kind of hands-on work on the comic. Uh, you guys have probably seen a recent CGC video where they talk about needing that tactile feel to feel any kind of defects in the in the comic that may be specifically associated with uh, with the touch-ups or anything that was done to the to the book, or to go through and feel the page quality. When I'm doing this, uh, we are having a lot of hands-on with the book. We want to reduce any kind of oil transfer from our hands. Our hands, uh, the oils that they are produced, are horrible for the ink. So if we get uh, ink, if we get those oils onto the comic book, it will cause the the uh, distortion or kind of almost act like a solvent on on the ink of the paper. And what you'll get is uh, thumbprints or removal of the ink. So a thumbprint, when you see it in a grading note, is not a physical divot in the comic. It's actually where the oils have been transferred and then those oils have then broken down the inks on the cover and have removed something. So you can actually see the outline of a, almost like a, a police fingerprint on there, which is actually not the, the transfer of that, but the removal of the ink from it. And that's unable to be reversed. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and pick this back, pack this back up. Uh, since I will be using my primary supplies for this work, but this is everything that you need to do. I would say that uh, aside from the gloves, you could probably clean up to 20 to 30 comics with uh, what's included in this and this. You may find that this starts to get slow toward the end, so I would say this would be the first to go. Uh, needed eraser, and then I wouldn't, using these sparingly, I wouldn't use them uh, too often. They should really last for, for a long time. So these are the primary supplies. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set these aside and I'm going to start a new video where we can uh, start working on this uh, Amazing Spider-Man uh, 316. So let's bring this in front and then uh, we'll, we'll restart in a second.